Okay. Very exciting. 2016 Model S. Did I get that right? Model S. 2016. You see, they're excited. Oh my gosh. It's a it's a Tesla. Of course, we're in Irvine, and everyone has a Tesla in Irvine. I don't think you can even drive into Irvine without one. All the cars you see here kind of grandfathered in. I think they were here before the Teslas. I think you're right, Dave. Yeah. Can I move this seat? Is that okay? No. Okay. No. Well, thanks. Please. Okay. Just a little bit. It's perfect where it is. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. But yeah, this is a... Uh, I like the tin you got. This looks good. So... Yeah, so what are we at? What's the what's the state of charge we're at right now? 11. Ooh, 11. That's not much, is it? No, I had 11 when I woke up, too. Oh, so you were at 11% when you... Yeah. And then the car was at how much? 11. We were both at 11%. <laughs> this one goes to 11. This one goes to 11. <laughs> yeah. So, um... It does go to 11, though. Yeah. Yeah, but is it really at 11%? Where's the state of charge on this thing? Right there. Oh, it's in... You're right. It, it's, this one goes to 11. Right. Okay. Yeah, I just... You know, I'm used to my Model 3. You know... Any space model? Well... I mean, we've talked about that, but I mean, I suppose all Model 3s are base models when you think about it. Yeah. I mean, this is a proper luxury saloon. Um, and actually, one of these days, Ryan, if we can, I'd love to do a, a whole thing on your car. Because I think, I think you, may, you may have made one of the best Tesla choices I've ever seen. Let's see if I have my, uh, my browser... Oh, browser it's so slow oh no upgrades so that i guess that is the one downside to an older unit like this <laughs> it's kind of a slow computer but you said you can upgrade that right yeah you could i think so and it's the previous owner told me and it's not not that much i think it's like uh like a thousand fifteen hundred yeah something like that and I mean, if you're driving a Model S, I mean that's that's chump change. Man, this oh, yeah. this car is fast. Like for being so big and heavy, it doesn't feel it. I I like this car. It's really quiet. It's really smooth. So I guess sell to you forty grand. Wow, Steel. that's wow. It's uh, tint and everything. I just yeah upgraded. Well, with the tint, <laughs> you drive a hard bargain. Um, I don't know. Do I get free parking at where we just came from? Free parking. Yeah. Yep. Okay. That's free, uh, free charging, uh, once a year at my house. Once a year? Once a year. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, so that's going to save me I don't know, five, 10 bucks. Um, the, the point of the video, I just wanted to do a quick one. I may even put this up today, Ryan. And I, we normally go to someplace different for breakfast and he conned me into coming with him to charge his car. Cause he's at 11, 10% 10 percent now. Um, so we're going to hit up this really busy supercharger and, uh, hopefully try and find some food. And I just kind of wanted to check out the charging curve a little bit, just get a sense for, for what it does. I mean, do you know what the charging curve is on this? No I don't either. And what is a charging curve? A charging. That's a good question. That's something I didn't actually know until more recently. Uh, and that's basically like how fast your car charges and where it kind of dips off. Like, so my car, my 2022 model three long range, it only, I think it's like zero to 20% is when it hits 250. And then after that, it, it trickles down real quick, um, down to, you know, 150 or whatever it is. Can you see that in the... Well, yeah, you'll see wherever it displays. I don't know how it works in a Model S, if it's going to be over there or over here. But it'll kind of show you the speed at which oh, at okay. which it's hitting. Um, when you plug it in. When you plug it in, yeah, as it's charging. Um, and obviously, we're going to go eat, so I'm not going to sit here and film that. But I just kind of want to see, like, how long it takes. And obviously, we're not going to, we're not going to get her up to 80%. And this is a 90, right? 90D. Yeah. The 90D. So this is a this is a pretty 
This must have been an expensive unit when it was new. Must have been. Like, I wonder how much it was. A lot. A lot. <laughs> a lot. Um, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to see, like, like what time is it? I don't know what time it is. 10, 10 18. 10, 18. So when we plug it in, granted, it's not going to be preconditioned very well because we, we're only driving like eight minutes or something, but... Um, so it will be a little bit slower, but let's just see, let's just see how much it'll take in the short time that we get breakfast and everything. But Ryan, how long have you had this car? Six months. Has it been six months already? Has it? I don't know. in December. Wow. What is it? Yeah, it has been yeah, six, six months. Six months, yeah. Gee. I put, how much? Like 10,000 miles? Yeah, a little over 10,000 miles. All right, you don't drive much. No. <laughs> Can I see that again? You know where the supercharger is. It's right here. It's nice how I'm mean to my friends. Just <laughs> so, Yeah. Actually. Actually. <laughs> so, now, but this is kind of interesting. So, just something to consider for those of you that are looking at like the Model S versus the Model 3, Model Y, uh, is going to be your average energy, the watt hours per mile. So Ryan here in 10,000 miles is getting 321 watt hours per mile. Whereas a Model 3, if everything's going well, is going to do around 241 to 250. Um, and I think a Model Y is going to be about 290. So, you know, it's a, it's a thirsty car. And uh, so that's just something to consider. Uh, yeah, so we'll we're gonna, we're gonna back it in here. Now, do you have full self driving in this thing? No, no. It'll like change lanes and stuff. But oh, okay. Well, that's cool. So you got like the. Uh, well, I'll just let you plug in. I'm gonna take a look at the the camera. Oh, it's one camera. Well, it's different than the Model Three. I'm sure somebody out there knows the Model S better than me. Charge port open. And let's see what happens. I'll try and get you in on the screen there. And we're plugging in. But man, this is a nice car. I'm really surprised, you know, if you've never been in a Model S, like the seats are really firm, but very supportive. Okay, so it's gonna, it's gonna show there. So we're at 55 kilowatts right now, but even still 35 minutes. I wonder if that's gonna climb. Yeah, it usually takes a lot longer to charge. Yeah, because you guys have the Model Y, so I'm sure you've seen that kind of... But usually I have it set, I think it's set to 80 now. Right. But usually I have it set to 90. Oh, you do 90 like every day? Yeah. So you need the range? I don't, I mean, I just kind of always have it at 90. Yeah. But on the, on the high usage ones, it just drops down. To yeah, 90. automatically. Yeah. 60 okay so we are like picking up a little bit of speed uh but i am thinking since you didn't really precondition long enough you know we're not going to see big numbers but it it may get up to 100 let's see we'll just give it a minute if you don't mind and so it's about 10 20 10 22 right now oh yeah now she's starting to to cook it just took a minute 106, 107. And you can hear the fans. Those must be the fans on the on the supercharger. Well, that's not the charger, but the Yeah. The 125? Okay. 126. What does the three get? What do you get on yours? Uh well. It'll, it'll top off at like 252, but only for 
you know, two minutes or whatever. Mm. As soon as it gets past 20%, it just phew, nose dives. But if you take a look at the charging curve on like some of the new Hyundai's and uh, I think the new Silverado EV, like those are charging monsters. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna hold it around 126, which considering the temperature of the battery, really not that bad. What, is, what does that mean, the plus three? So that means you've added, that's a good question. So he's talking about right there, plus three kilowatt hours. So you've, you have added, well now four kilowatt hours. Of charge. Yeah. Oh, okay. Of, of electricity. So yeah, that's pretty good. And we're already, as you can see at 14%. So it doesn't, you know, it doesn't take that long. So we're gonna try and get some food and then we'll uh, check back in. And look at this delicious lettuce wrap. Wendy's double, because I'm starving. As we head back to see how the Model S is doing. Okay, so it's 10.39. We unplugged at 10.38, and now we're at 43%. Pretty good little charging session. You know, 15, 15 minutes, yeah. Yeah, considering all of the, all of the variables. You know, good lettuce wrap burger. Uh, really busy supercharger station here. But I think, I think that was pretty successful. How far do you have to go after this? This home? You gotta go to my parents, your Belinda, then back up to East LA. Oh, okay. That's not so, bad. Yeah, I can make it back. Can just... Yeah. But even if you had to charger hop, you know, stop at another one. Ooh, they have it. I'm gonna get a burger. Oh, yeah. Do they do a lettuce wrap? No. Oh, okay. They do real burgers. <laughs> this is a real burger. Um, comment down below if you know about the habit doing a lettuce wrap. Inquiring minds want to know. I think they do. I'm pretty sure they do. But, yeah. Anyway, that's all I got. Ryan, thanks for showing your Model S today. Yeah, good to see you, Dave. Thanks uh -oh. for coming along. Good for to see ride. you. Yeah. It's, we haven't collaborated in uh, quite a while. I know, way too long. Yeah. So, yeah, pretty sweet unit. We'll we'll talk more about this in the future. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Bye.